and hello everyone welcome back to another video so in this video i would like to give a little bit of a shout out to this new kitu app that is busy being developed so for those of you who don't know kitu is a platform similar to um, mal so my anime list where you can say what animes you've watched you can leave reactions on it you can leave it a rating and it's very similar but I usually find Kitsu to look a little bit more modern and feel a little bit more cleaned up. Whilst my anime list looks a little bit older and it's a little bit more difficult to get used to. But for those of you who do use Kitsu, you may know that the Kitsu app, especially on Android, absolutely sucks. It's buggy, it's slow, it's just everything you don't want from the app. But here we have a new app, Kitsune. Now, before we continue, you can, of course, get the code right here. It's fully free and open source, so you can go look at what the code does if you want. You can also get some of the releases by just going here, and then you'll see there's a releases. If we click here, then an asset, you'll see there's the APK. So you can just download the APK, and Bob's your uncle. You now have a better Kitsu app. Now I'm just going to go through this just to show you the differences you will have. So first of all, you do not have this feed inside of this app, unfortunately. It is planned to bring it into this app, but currently the feed does not exist. So unfortunately, that is a thing. However, you do have this right here where you can find more animes, which I'm pretty sure, yes, if you go to search, you have this right here, which, you know, some may like this. I kind of like this a little bit more it just looks cleaner and whatnot and if you click on something like let's say spikes family and uh spikes family is actually not on the top here uh, it's fine we can click on this one you'll notice there's differences here but it also just looks much better so here you can see i've completed it i can add this to library if i click here that will pop up if i click here this will pop up you can see everything just looks better and in general everything just works better as well currently you can see the ratings here but you cannot see the reactions or leave any comments posting is not yet available on here but unless you post a lot this app is still pretty good now let's take a look maybe at if we go back here let's try and go to our profile so here we have a bunch of things view your profile so this is how your profile looks pretty pretty meh so yeah that's about what they display here if we go here to profile you actually see this and you'll get like nice stats that you can view and here you can see all the favorite animes of course yeah here you can't actually see the favorite animes you have to probably go and click on each of these individually but as you can see it just looks so much better you can also have your manga stats here so just so much better and so much cleaner and also everything is right here so you don't have to click here go view profile and then you have to click back you can just click here the navigation is just here at the bottom and of course for searching i don't know if the searching will be any better than what it is on kitsu we'll just have to see once kitsu search breaks again because that is something that generally happens often so let's search maybe for a michelle that's pretty fast there it is and if you search here then yeah it's also actually pretty fast and actually has less results which is actually oh this is just because it's animated here we also have the mangas okay so that's interesting uh, currently you can't search for users which is unfortunate but that's also something that's in the making so they're planning on making that and in here, of course, you can post, but currently I don't really have a reason to post. And here you cannot post yet. Then here you have your notifications. I don't know if we have the notifications tab here. Probably not, because we can anyways not see posts or anything. So that will probably come in the future. And then, of course, the part that we've probably been waiting for, the anime section. So this would be your library here. As you can see, I personally think this looks much better it just looks so much cleaner here we can filter by just watching and this will show you everything you're reading and watching you can also specify that maybe you just want to see the mangas now you'll only have the mangas or you maybe just want to see the animes and now you'll have the animes same here and of course you can go like one two three 
and I will update with the free and I'll go back. Here you can do the same. So here I could go one and I will update. I'll go back. Very similar. If you were to click here on any of these, it will take you to your profile. Same here. So it will take you to your profile. But it's just something that might be up to you. You might want something that looks a bit better and is generally less buggy. Because even when signing in, I found that Kitsu is rather buggy. It just isn't something I think it's worth it anymore. The mobile app is just a little bit lost. Whilst I think this app is a great replacement. Once the developer adds things such as posting and getting notifications, this will all in all be 10 times better than this app right here. But it's just something you might want to take a look at because it just looks better, it works better. And if you're someone like me that mainly just uses Ketsu to update when and what's happening. So currently I want to remember I'm at episode three of My Hero Academia season three. That's easy enough to do. You just put it here. I don't care too much about any of the other features. I just want to know where I'm at and what I might want to be reading or watching next. And this app does it good, but a lot of times this app will just kind of break. It's unfortunate. It might not open up even, or it might crash. Whilst well, this app, it just works and I really like it. So yeah, go and show this developer some love. Maybe get the app, try it out for yourself. Maybe look at the source code and contribute. Maybe add a few features to help lift the load from the developer's back. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all again in the next video.